Once upon a time, a young mother pooed out a baby. She wasn't sure what to name the kid at first, but after looking at its ugly face, she knew exactly what to call it. You are Karen. Hee <laughs> hee. Right off the bat, baby Karen was full of much anger. She looked around her surroundings, thinking everything was ugly, until she spotted the worst of them all. And that was... a really ugly baby. Never speaking in her life, she finally knew the first words to say. You, ugly. The other mother came to her daughter's aid, holding her close as she processed what baby Karen had just said to her child. Is your baby calling my baby ugly? She just honest. Ye. They look exactly the same. Baby Karen was not having this. No, I close. Dumb baby. By this point, the ugly baby's mother thought she had won the fight, but baby Karen was far from keeping quiet. Least not ugly. This angered the ugly baby's mom. She wasn't going to let Karen win, and continued to argue with the one-year-old. My baby is cute and smart. Meanwhile, I entered the scene very confused. Why is one of these babies uglier? You're dummy. No you. Not every baby can be a good one like you. It's a Karen, what you expect. Ye, I Karen. As the ugly baby's mom tried to comfort her child, baby Karen was growing older, already thinking of ideas to complain to her manager. Good luck Karen. Thank you ma. By this point of the story, I think it's best we just watch for ourselves, Karen's tales. Why is there a pie on the floor? This is unacceptable. OMG. This kitchen is worse. I demand to speak with the manager. Hey Karen, I will get you clothes. By the way, she completely ignored me. Lol. Well, he died, cause he was ugly. At this point I was half paying attention to what she was saying. Who, ugly? And once again, she ignored me. As the years went by, Karen grew into a young lady, who was made fun of by many. Yet despite all this, Karen's anger and complaints only grew more vicious, and to some degree, even violent. I am Karen. I demand to see my manager. Of course we didn't have managers. We were a small village after all. But that didn't stop Karen from trying. The leader's the manager I guess. Very well. You've created a lot of work for me. But I will sue you later for wasting my time. You were named well. With that Karen went off in search of the leader. That was, until she stumbled upon a naked child, called it ugly and gave it her pants. Why she do this? No one really knows. At this point, I was living the work-free life, playing with a ball my mother gifted me, and still watching all the drama that circled around my niece. However, I did question why she lost the clothes I gave her. Didn't I clothe you? And to my shock, she actually acknowledged me this time. Well, sort of. No. I was a bit taken aback by this, but she was young. So I decided to remind her. I gave you a hat and a skirt. I'm trying to complain to a manager. You lost him? You gambler. I knew I needed to watch what I said to Karen. After all, this was Karen. But to my surprise, she seemed to be talking to me on a normal level. No, ugly babies needed him. Ah, the ugly babies. I gave it to them so they could hide their ugliness. I think I was an ugly baby. I didn't get clothes. There is one now. If you can't expel them, you got to fix them. Exactly. This is wasting my time. I need to find the manager. Yeah, let's just say her journey was interrupted by a kid, and Karen wasn't having that. Oh, um, hey, ugly baby. Let's just say, her kid knew exactly what to do. Well, to ugly, for this world anyways. Lol. Annoyed by her baby, Karen tossed it aside and set off once again to find the manager. This is tyranny. Since when do I have to wear a furry diaper? I'm not a furry. This was a lie. But telling Karen she's in denial is asking for trouble. Oh, and turns out my mom, her grandma was the manager. I demand free food. Lamo. My mom ended up dying of laughter. Oh? They died. I did it. New manager now. My mother is dead. Though I was saddened my mother passed away, Karen continued on, quickly disliking the new leader, and calling more babies ugly. Oh, shoot. It died, cause it was too ugly. True. Look, I have an ugly baby now. See? It happens. Rip. Bozo. As Karen was bringing her other ugly baby to the graveyard, she happened to spot the new manager. 
Hello there. How dare you speak to me that way? I will sue you, old man. Ah uh ah, -uh. I like your style, Kit. Oh no, I'm calling the cops. I follow you. And just like that, the manager died yet again. Only this time, the leadership was given to none other than Karen. Hi, baby. What letter do you want for your name? Little did this kid know his mom was, well, special. F. Steven, welcome baby. You are the brown. Yeah, so she forgot to say you are and named her kid the. What? I said Steven. To make matters worse, Karen didn't even realize she was leader. At this point I knew our village was doomed. We got no leader, the. You are the leader, Karen. Oh? Really? When that happened? I knew I would eventually get my way. Mwahahaha. Karen had somehow climbed her way to the top, and she wanted everyone to know it was her too. Order, I am Karen. I demand to see a manager about this kitchen. Everyone in the village but me were shocked to learn Karen was in charge. It was funny to watch. OMG, you're the leader now. That's right, and if you have a problem with it, I will see you. Oh no I don't, praise Karen the leader. Her mother was so proud of her daughter, that she made a dress for her as a gift. You became the manager. All thanks to you Ma. Put on this shirt, I made for you. Love you Ma, thank you. I will continue to complain, to get my way. Just like I raised you. Order, all babies are ugly, if they don't have clothes. This order hit me personally. I never had clothes and well, that made me one ugly baby. Am I still a baby? I asked curiously. Or am I pretty now? Yeah, you ugly. Well shoot. While I was looking for clothes to be pretty, Karen continued barking out orders. No ugly babies allowed. Damn, it was too ugly. Oh, ha ha. Order, don't worry about scaly babies. They like cause they too ugly. While Karen was enjoying the life as a manager, little did she know she was about to encounter something of her past. The very thing that led her on the path she followed today. You are Karina. When you are older, you must complain to the manager. Oh, hey other baby. Know this daughter, it is your destiny as a Karen to follow in my footsteps. Oh, it's you. You called me an ugly baby. Yeah, cause you ugly. And well, you are an ugly baby too. While they were arguing, both Karen and the ugly baby grew too old to feed their own ugly kids. Sorry baby, guess I'm old as dirt. But don't worry, you are still very cute. I am so, so happy you are in my life. The ugly baby's baby heard this and finally spoke. Am. I. Cute? As always, Karen wasn't really listening to the others around her. Oh, and that naked old man who ran by? Yeah, that was me. Once her last born got old enough, Karen continued to order the village. Yet to everyone's shock, her bossiness actually helped the village out. Order. We need hoes in the farm. Ma, why you need a hoe? You already here. Oh well, then in that case, order, never mind. I'm here, no need for a hoe. Eventually Karen ended up making actually hoes and shovels for the farm. The only real work she did her entire life. What caused her to do this? To this day I have no idea. There, now all the ugly babies have hoes. I can finally get some peace of mind. Order, I brought more hoes to the farm. I expect to see work done, or I am going to fire you all. As time went on, Karen soon became as ugly as me. Oh no, I caught the ugly. I'm going to die. And with that, Karen died becoming way too ugly to continue living on. To this day, as I sit here in my retirement home, I think back on my niece. How did she become leader? Why did many adore her? These are things I don't think any of us can truly answer. But if there is one thing we can get out of this tale, no matter how much we try to deny it, we are all ugly babies deep down.